Okay, I wanted to do a video about my dishwasher, which I'm sure is kind of a weird thing, but here we are. Um, <laughs> this dishwasher is a Whirlpool Imperial 90 portable dishwasher. Uh, portable dishwasher, if you didn't already know, is for people like me who live in houses where there are cabinets that do not accommodate a, uh, dish, a dish, dishwasher being installed. So um, it's either this or hand washing. It's actually the second um, portable dishwasher that I've owned. Uh, the first one I had 10 years ago or something like that. Um, my wife made me get rid of it because she didn't like it. She decided for some reason that she'd rather hand wash the dishes and then she just never did. Uh, so I had to get rid of that. But anyway, um, uh, so let's take a look at this thing. It's really cool. One of the things that I like, well, there's one of the things that I like is is the uh, the design of the switch gear. Okay, first off, you got this filler panel here that is just so full of filigree, right? This cool little repeating shield pattern. It looks really neat. You got more chrome than a 62 Cadillac, and you got these big chunky ass buttons that make a neat sound when you press them. It's like it's like pressing the selector button on a jukebox or um, an old AM FM radio in a classic American car. Um, I leave it on a short cycle. So this is how this thing works. Uh, you pick your your quote unquote program, right? And they have letters, and then you turn the dial over here to the appropriate setting. So I just, I usually leave it on short cycle because that's just a single wash and rinse. And that is gonna be cycle F, right? Cycle F. So then you turn this bad boy to E and F and then it just goes through and, and it dries them um, when it's all done. It takes a while to get through. Oh, to, and, <laughs> and once you've made your selection, right? In order to turn it on, which I don't wanna turn it on right now. So I'm gonna turn this back to off. Um, you would, uh, you pull this out just, just like a clothes washing machine. <laughs> and maybe you can hear that the mechanical timer has started. Anyway, all right. The, uh, this is the latch, heavy duty bastard. And it opens up and inside you've got, you know, typical dishwasher stuff. Yeah, it's a little dirty because I've been using it. Whatever. Don't judge me. Um, you put the, uh, you put the rinse aid in here and for short cycle, it's just this cup. If you're going to do a super cycle, it's both cups and, you know, then you close them. You know how a dishwasher works. Got the, uh, got the, um, uh, the little cups for the utensils. My understanding is that on a later version or revision or successor model, uh, those cups were incorporated into the uh, onto the door somehow. I don't know, but paint is pretty white and blue speckles. Um, and I think a big round thing down there is the heating element. I don't know that for sure, but it might be. I'll tell you one thing though: this sun bitch gets hot. Okay, it's got hot water coming into it, and then it heats up the water even further, and then it runs a heater to dry it. And when this thing is done. You can't touch the dishes. They're just too hot. Pretty weird. Um, it looks like what happens is so water sprays out of this thing, which makes this thing turn. And it looks like it goes straight up into the bottom of this guy to make it spin and also distribute the water. It's just weird to think that when this thing's running, there's, there's, a, there's a fountain of water rushing up into this to make it turn and water distributes through the uh through the holes on top so that's that pretty wild and then to close it you close it and pull down and listen to the sound that it makes oh there's another cool thing the instruction label is still here it's seen better days you can barely read it anymore But uh, instruction label is here. 
Step one, prepare dishes by removing excess food, emptying the liquids out, load the racks with small cups, glasses, and small items in the top rack, face plates, I can't read that anymore, I, oh, bowls, and I can't read that, toward the center, avoid nesting, step three, add detergent, it says automatic dishwasher type only, uh, C cups for amount, I guess they mean those guys. It looks all 60s with these these cool arrows and stuff. <sighs> Step four is close the door, pull, I can't read this anymore. Step five is start, can't read that anymore. Step six says water temperature, I can't read any of that anymore. But I found someone online who had this same machine. And when I say the same machine, I don't just mean that it's the same model, even though it is. Might actually have been this very one. And the thing that makes me say that is that you see how it's white, right? Like every appliance these days is white. That wasn't the case in the 70s. Every appliance didn't used to be white. It used to be colors. And the color that this one used to be, this is avocado green. Oh, doesn't really show up on the camera too well here. Hang on just a second. Um, you'll just have to take my word for it. This thing is like an avocado green that was then sprayed over in white to make it suit a modern, more, slightly more modern kitchen. And it's white on both sides. Anyway, so like I said, it's a, uh, oh, by the way, this foam thing here is my, my, my ghetto ghetto doorknob thing. <laughs> ghetto door stopper, that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, um, like I said, it was a, it's a portable, but it's kind of permanently installed here. The idea behind these portable jobs is they have wheels on the bottom and they have hoses that connect to your faucet, and then you turn on the water in the faucet, turn on the machine, Go watch Wheel of Fortune, and when it's all done, you come out here, you disconnect the hoses, and they uh, they spool right up into uh, a space on the back of the machine with a retractor. And then you can just push it back into wherever it normally lives when you're not using it. But it's the exact same size as the rest of my appliances in the stack. It has this butcher block on top. I guess you could use it as a cutting board area. I just use it to house my microwave. Um, yeah, so... I got it for free, actually, from a guy in Wildwood who I believe was turning over an apartment. Um, there was this and there was a green toilet that also looked like it came from the 70s. I left the toilet, but I took the machine. So I took it for free. He said he didn't know, even if it works. Um, but it works fine. I hooked it up to my uh, garden hose out back when I first got it home and ran an extension cord to it to power it up and make sure that it did what it was supposed to do, and it does. Uh, so then I brought it inside and hooked it up. It cost me about $50 to get what I needed to, uh, to plumb it into uh, the home system. So uh, over here by the washing machine is the standpipe for the drain. I had to get a, a dishwasher hose. I had to get uh, Y adapters for, the, uh, for where the hot water comes out. So hot water now runs to either the dishwasher I mean, the clothes washer or the dishwasher. I mean, it goes to both, but I don't run them both at the same time. But there's a hose that goes, so I had to buy a Y adapter for that. And then the hose, uh, the, the exhaust, I call it exhaust hose, but it's not really, exhaust discharge. The discharge hose goes back into the standpipe, and I had to get the PVCs and some glue and make, make sure that they could both dump in again. They both dump into the same place, but I don't run them at the same time because I don't want a chance having a flood. Um, and that's it, man. This thing, like I said, it works really well. Um, I can't believe it. Uh, like I said, somebody online has either the same model or this very exact same machine. His was painted the same way and his started out the same color. Um, and uh, they said that it, it, it was built in 1970 or so, which stands to reason just by looking at it, but there's no telling based on that I can tell based on the uh, based on the, uh, the, the the manufacturer plate here. I'm gonna try to 
turn this sideways so you can see. Not that it matters, but that's the thing. So, so yeah, now I uh, run it just about every day and get clean dishes out of it. And I think it's really, really cool. A little loud, but that's all right. It's not so bad, you know. Just don't hang around while it's running. That's it.